I buy faulty electronic devices, attempt to fix them and sell them on for a profit. Let me introduce you to someone. This right here is Sally's Spectacular Spreadsheet, which is a spreadsheet where I log my profits and losses. Currently, as it stands, we are at an actual total profit of £1,566 with an overall target of £2,000. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. To give you an idea, I've already done one season of this and it took me 104 episodes to get to £1,000 total profit. This of season two is episode number 36. So we're doing all right. Without further ado, let's get on to our first item of the day. Today, actually, interestingly, I have some Xbox One S consoles. So I bought three of these for £86. So if I divide £86 by three, divided by three, what do we get? We get £28.60 per console. So what I'll say for the sake of this is that I've paid £28.60 for two Xbox One S consoles, because that technically is what I've paid. Now, what are the faults? They differ. I have no idea. I don't know if it's a beep on, beep off, no power, whatever it is. So we're just going to take a look at it and see if we can fix it. Let's get this thing unwrapped to see what it is that we're dealing with. Whew. What's happened here then? Lord the uh, glove. That's a little bit weird, hey? Why is that like that? Almost like cracked. Well, I say almost cracked. That is 100% cracked, isn't it? Has been opened before as well. This is This is not good. This is not good. This is where the warranty sticker goes. Uh, all the other ports look okay. HDMI port. The clasp looks a little bit loose down there, but other than that, it's all right. If we look at the front of the console, that looks all right. We have this mysterious red circular sticker over the power on button. Lovely jubbly. <gasps> Hold on a second. Is that... That's a disc. I don't believe it. We got a disc. No, come back. Don't go. <laughs> Please. So I'm going to firstly apply power and see what happens. All right, power. Please don't do anything severe to my house or my health. Okay. No power. I like that. It could be absolutely anything. It could be power supply. Down on the right side of the fan here, we've got the 12 volt power line, which has a bunch of MOSFETs and caps that can very commonly go bad. It might just be replacing the power supply though could just be that hey i mean it looks like like we said it's probably taken a drop at some point as well so maybe that's got something to do with the fact of no power that or it had no power something caused it to go no power and then somebody's launched it across the room of frustration that's also a thing hopefully just a bad bit. okay well that that's not meant to happen so the chassis is just absolutely dispatched itself a lot of plastic and stuff is coming okay all right yeah Xbox Ones really don't like Joey. You're very, 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 very correct. I don't get on with them. We've not got a good history. Oh my gosh, the dust. The dust, the dust, the dust. This one didn't even look dusty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel itchy already, man. Where's my hoover? Somebody said inside here it might be an 18 plus stream. True, 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 true. I might as well take out the... To be fair, I, I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to take that out. What I should have done, technically, is only removed the PSU, just to check that first and see if we get no power from the PSU. Let me take out the PSU first. That hard drive has seen better days. I feel sorry for that hard drive. Oh, my gosh. Look, what on earth sort of bunny dusting situation have we got going on in here? Lord the glove. So we're in DC voltage mode. I'm going to put it onto high speed so we can get a quick accurate thing i don't hear any crackle so i am actually thinking it's going to be this power supply that's what i'm thinking let's find out here we go what i'm looking for is 12 volts we have ourselves a dead power supply we are not going to be looking at the power supply today so what i need to do is still check over the console and i'm going to sort out the thermal paste and give it a nice clean because i'm already inside the console if i wasn't already inside the console it'd be a little bit of a different story to be honest i'll probably take it apart still and give it a little bit of a clean but it needs it's going to need new thermal paste and i'll i'll try not to bore you with most of that process because there's no need let's check uh continuity mode now so i'm going to put the multimeter on and i'm going to go into continuity mode which is the mode that beeps when we get a continuous path so when i join these two leads that is a complete circuit of where these are plugged into so i get a beep right under 50 ohms that is anyway 
So what if I what if I uh, ground my lead here and I put it on the positive, which is this side, the positive of the 12 volt line. It's absolutely fine. So that says open line. Now if I put it to ground, which is where this is connected to ground, aka the negative side for the power. We get that beep. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? That's the beep. So we get one ohms worth of resistance. Whereas if I measure here, it goes up to like, I don't know, a lot. So we don't have a short on the 12 volt line, which means I can simply just put, well, I could still put a power supply that works on this board and it might still not work because we might have a short on a 1.8 or 1.1 or a 5 volt rail. But for the time being, because we don't have a short on the 12 volt, I'm more than happy to just put that power supply in and push a button and see if it works. If it doesn't, then I'll need to have a look. So I went ahead and got the console cleaned up. So now I have that sorted. What I'm going to do is plug in the hard drive, disk drive, etc. I'm going to put a new power supply in and just make sure that it actually turns on. Here's one I made earlier. I didn't. I just pulled it from a drawer behind me. Please don't make power supplies. Okay, let's see what happens. Ready? Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Okay. I'm still here, which is wicked. I didn't go up into like a puff of smoke, so that's, that's cool. Right, let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Power. Don't beep on, beep off. Please just stay on. You can see the light at the front. Cool, 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 cool. What disc do we have? Three, two, one. Another GTA 5. Oh my gosh. I have so many of these. I legit have so many of these. So I paid £28.60 for this. I should be able to fetch a nice profit. And it's not taken me the longest of time, has it? How long has that taken me? Maybe 20, 30 minutes max. So that's not bad. So all that's left to do with this now is give it a factory reset. And that is console number one fixed and ready to sell for a profit. Let's go ahead and add that Xbox One S onto Sally Spectacular Spreadsheet. So Xbox One S and the cost is £28.60. So for the parts, we don't actually spend anything because the drive that I'm using is from a donor console. Lovely jubbly. So that is zero. We'll see how much I think I'm going to get for it at the end of the video. Bear in mind, this was only a 500 gig hard drive as well. Right, let's add our second Xbox One S. Nearly said X, Xbox One S here. Right, this is in fact our second Xbox One S. That again, I paid around about £28 for. What seems to be the issue with this one? Is it going to be the same? No power, beep on, beep off. No display, could be a plethora of things. Let's get it unboxed and see what the exact problem is with this one. Right, this one's got a red dot as well. So we got the red dot of death. Uh, it does look like, again, this one is a little bit different to the first. If it focuses, there it is. This one has a warranty sticker intact. HDMI port also looks okay. What's going to be the issue with Xbox One S number two? Let's plug it in. I had a little bit of a crackle there, which is usually a good indication that the power supply is A-OK. -okay. Let's go ahead and power it on. Okay. Is it going to be a display issue? It's very dusty. I've just seen a plethora of dust leave the vicinity, which I'm not looking forward to. Disc. No, unfortunately not. The reason I'm holding this up is because after a certain amount of time, potentially one minute, two minutes, this could turn off. If it does that, it's usually an indicator that the hard drive is bad. So I'm just seeing what happens in that scenario. It's still on, guys. Let me just see if I've got a display. It just says preparing console. 58%. So I get a display. I get a display. It turns on. It stays on. Maybe it's just a, a poor... Hard drive, perhaps. I'll have a look in a second. I'll have to take it apart anyway and see what's going on. This seems like it's just stuck in 58% preparing console. Can you see? Uh, it's now 59%, 60%. But that to me could be a bad hard drive. The fact that it's taking like a very, very long time. I don't have a display now. I, I did have a display. It said it was resetting and then it's just not showing anything. I feel like it's a bad hard drive on this one specifically. I'm going to check the hard drive first. So again, just take it apart, plug the hard drive into my PC and check the status of the drive. Some is here. It's not been opened before as well. So that's usually a good indication that the hard drive has been worn out, you know. This one's just a little bit dusty as well, but this seems to be in better condition than the other one, that's for sure. Still a very bit dusty, actually. 
I'm going to have to take all these screws out anyway because I want to get to the, uh, the APU so I can repaste this with some fresh thermal paste. Right, let's check this drive then and see what the situation is. I can tell this is one TB as well, I think. Yeah, it is a one terabyte. One terabyte drive. I don't think it is going to sell because I think this uh, this one's faulty. Someone said you can charge 25 instead of 20 now, but <laughs> I think this is faulty, so I'm going to have to replace it regardless. Let's check again. So we put it into our little adapter, plug it into the PC, see what happens. So I've tried. I've just tried to open crystal disk info and when crystal disk info takes ages to open it usually means that the drive is bad so nothing's come up on the screen usually the application should show up here but it's not it's not opening and usually means that that means that there's a bad drive let me show you an example of this happening right let me unplug the drive okay i've just unplugged the drive from my pc and it comes up <laughs> so I, th I believe it was here as like disk 10 and as you can see now that i've taken it out it's just it was trying to read it and it was struggling um, so therefore it's not a good drive. So I need to replace that drive. Unfortunately, it is a one terabyte. So I would have had some quite nice profits with this because again, I paid 28 pound for it and I probably would have been able to get maybe 65, 70 pounds. But now what I'm going to have to do is replace it with maybe a 500 gig drive. I might have a one terabyte. I'm just going to check now. So that sounds good. I'm going to open up crystal disk info. So this is a, this is a spare donor drive I have and it's opened up straight away. So this one, for example, let me show you this one has been powered on 5,000 times and only has 593 hours of it actually being on. This is a really good drive to use and it's 1,000. So it's a, it's a 1,000 gigs, aka one terabyte. So what I'll do is I'll plug that into the console. I do need to download OSU1 transfer, uh, which is basically the operating system of the Xbox One S or the Xbox One consoles in general. Um, and that completely factory resets it. This is the disk drive, the new hard drive. Sorry, the new hard drive that I'm going to use. So I'm going to stick this in there and then do this back up. So that's all ready to go back in the console. However, what I need to do now is take this apart, reapply the thermal paste to make sure that it's going to be okay and that it can breathe and that it's not too dusty. I can see, look at this, look, just dust bunnies absolutely everywhere. We got this Xbox One cleaned up and now it was about time to get it all back together. Let's get uh, OSU One installed. Turning the console one in three, two, one. So this is what we're going to get, right? E106. Now, what I do with the SSD that I've installed OSU1, which is again the operating system for the console, I go troubleshoot, offline system update. And now what that's going to do is send the image that I've got for the uh, for the Xbox OSU1 offline system update, which is on here. And it's going to write it, it's plugged in via USB, which goes in the back here. It's going to write it to the hard drive, the, the new one that I've put in the one terabyte. So this is still going to be one terabyte. And there we go. It's accepted it. So that means that it's accepted the file, which is really, really good. And now you can see on the right, we've got a 2%. On the left, we've got a 1%. And now that's going up and slowly but surely. Once it gets to about 60%, what's going to happen is that this console is going to reset. And the reason it resets is because the disk drive in the Xbox One S is paired to the console. So there's like a little key. So when the update goes through, that key needs to match the motherboard and what it has on the disk drive for it to actually go through and work. So it will restart around about 60% or so. And there we have it. This console is completely fixed and working. The only thing I need to do now is test the disk drive, which I have GTA 5 here. Seems to accept it absolutely fine. Does it show up on the dashboard? There it is. All working absolutely fine. Now let's head on over to Sally's Spectacular Spreadsheet to wrap things up. Cost is exactly the same, so £28.60. And parts, same again. Another hard drive. So zero pound for parts. So estimated sell price for the first Xbox One S is a 500 gig hard drive. I'm going to say 60 pounds. So if I put 60 pounds in here, that looks to make us a profit of 26 pounds on the dot roughly. When the item actually sells, I'll come back and I'll fill out this data properly. So we get a true accurate representation of how much it actually sold for. This Xbox One S, because it's a one terabyte, I'm going to go with 70 pounds as an estimate which nets us a profit of 35 pounds and 10 pence overall meaning the combined total estimated profit in today's episode number 36 is 61 pounds and 10 pence 61 pound 10 pence hours worked i'm going to say it was around about two hours worth of work be interesting to see what they actually sell for the ps5 digital from the last video uh, episode number 35 of profit or loss season 2 still hasn't sold so i can't actually update that just yet so the only thing that's changed is the estimated total profit has gone up to £1,266.83. 
hopefully we can sell some items and I can update this in the next episode. As always, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your week, weekend, or whatever it is for you. If you've got literally nothing else to do, then feel free to join me over here for a video that YouTube loves to recommend. And as always, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.